You know, I've always wanted to come back. I've lived uh, out of Tanzania for t two years, but this project has been in my head as the project I wanted to see if it could really make a success, not only in Tanzania, but in other countries around the world. And the eco-village concept is about giving people control over their own resources, giving them knowledge, technical skills, so that they can leap out of poverty and they can have power to invest in themselves and their families to provide education and health. Because the people here in Chilolo are some of the poorest in Tanzania, the most vulnerable in Tanzania. You just have to look around you. In two years, this has been a miracle. Through good project management, through the community participation, through people having a desire to make themselves better. People are coming from other parts of Tanzania, other parts of the world, to see what is happening here. Something extraordinary has happened. You have the beginnings of uh, something very special. For the rural communities in Tanzania, 80% of the population, many of them don't have access to resources. Despite many efforts, people are still poor. With this project, with this type of initiative, with the energy of the local community, with government resources, with research, magic, magical things can happen. This is a farm producing sunflower seeds. Look at it. I mean, this is one of the most arid and difficult areas in Tanzania. And we just earlier today, we saw the solar pump People here have water throughout the year, and they have it for nothing. The sun provides the energy. You know, this is a revolution. I hope that um, other, other donors, so the European Union was the first, but there are others who are working in the same area. Come and see with your own eyes. <laughs> and come and make a difference to other communities. Chilolo, already in what I'm saying, um, I, I meet a lot of people. I'm talking about Chilolo, I'm talking about eco-villages, I'm talking about bringing um, wealth and pride and dignity and respect to rural people. This is really important. I feel my dream has come true. So I think what is being done here has um, many, many implications for agriculture in Tanzania, but in Africa in general. We came here with 27, I think it is, innovations. You know, I don't know whether you are an in innovator yourself or you're a follower. You have to take a risk. <laughs> and in any community, they have to trust the people around them, trust that their advice is good. Farmers are not stupid people. They will do what makes sense to, for them and for their families. The innovations that have been tried here are agricultural innovations, energy, water, They've taken on those things which make sense for the community. And the real test for this project is will it keep going? Can it have the sort of, you know, momentum and drive that will make it lasting forever? For this generation, for future generations, that the resources, the land is preserved and conserved wisely. I think it will happen. I'm very happy. I'm very confident. We've been shown around by some extremely competent, motivated people and by villagers who have seen a revolution in their lives in two years. Two years. This is amazing. Thank you. Thank you.